Mom, Molly, Skyler fans, welcome back to Skyler Nation. Mom and woman versus food. Always eating like a girl. At least trying to clean my plate. Wasting food is rude. Back at you with another spice challenge, but this one's gonna be a double today because I had another one. I've got, we're gonna start off with the Molab Gold. That is basically to finish as fast as I can. You know, whatever, I get five points. I think if I finish under three minutes and I get four points, anything from three to 10, I think it is what it is for League, League of Fire going on with that. Um, I've got this, Johnny Scoville's Chili Cherry Nightmare. I did do that one before, delicious chocolate bar. It is spicy, but I'm gonna just double this one up and make it a double chocolate challenge because, oh my God, glutton for punishment, always have been. So anyway, we're gonna do this, read off the little blah, 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 blah. So, I'm Molly Schuyler, I'm over 18 years of age, I've sound mind, have read and understood the hot sauce product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept that the League of Fire, their suppliers and manufacturers will under no circumstances be responsible for or liable for any claim of injury and damage arising from me and consuming this product and multiples thereof. I acknowledge and agree to this fact without question. Touche. All right, so here we have the Moab Gold, like I said. Ah, it's got the caramel in there, should be pretty doggone good. Like I said, all I have to do for this one is see how fast I can do it. And I'm going to go right on into the other bar afterwards because mm, it's going to be a long video. <laughs> uh, like I said, Spice Challenges, League of Fire, Old Agnes store. I did get my products from Old Agnes. So honestly, thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. Steve Michelle. Excellent. Full bar. Got it right there. Like I said, I've got three minutes to finish this bad boy. You can see it right there. Make sure I put that there so you can see a little bit better. Because, gosh forbid, look at this little dreamy little doodad here. I don't know. When the chocolate isn't, you know, if it's below room temperature, I was like, unfortunately, where I'm at, it gets kind of hot. So it's a little bit harder to eat a cold chocolate bar, but we'll see what happens. So, like I said, blah, blah, blah. Three, two, one, and let's eat some. Chocolate bar. Ooh, ooh. All right, here we go. Oh God, that's very. You guys see that? Oh, wow. This is not going to be a three-man chocolate bar. Definitely some good spice. Creeping up a little bit. Caramel kind of minimizes it, but I can feel it creeping to the front of my mouth right now. Mm. 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 Very chewy.
parecer. Five. Not bad, like I said, it is so chewy, I just can't get through it. I couldn't, <laughs> I don't want to break my teeth on that. It definitely has a decent amount of heat to it. It is coming to the front of my mouth right now. Not horrible. It actually was very tasty. The caramel really minimizes what's going on there. Um, as I said, but because of the fact that we're doing two here, we're going to jump right into this one. <sighs> Again, let's revisit this bad boy. Ugh. This one's a little bit rougher than that one. Uh, this is a, 10, a 15 minute challenge, which is so obviously we're gonna probably speed up this a little bit here and there. Um, Cause you don't really wanna watch me sitting here for that long. I don't really always have that much to say either. Kind of a minimalist on that, unfortunately. So I've got 10 minutes to finish it. No matter what, I have to take 10 minutes and then I have to let this fit. So a five minute afterburn after that. I did get my one video and the one time when I did the live and honestly I got docked because I left the screen to go right there and I was gone for two seconds I was right there just to grab more of these to show off on the camera and they got me for a couple of points I'm like really dude all right but so redemption I'm not gonna leave the screen so I'll just sit here and look pathetic so we'll redo this here all right three two one my 15 minutes is beginning I said, it doesn't matter how long it takes me. I just have to sit here for 15 minutes at this point. Like I said, it's a delicious little bar. The cherry, chili cherry, Carolina Reaper, black cherry. Um, I also do have the white cherry one coming up. So honestly, I really don't care how much time I waste right now because I've got 15 minutes anyway. <laughs> oh. Not awful, but Definitely can feel this one on my tongue in the front. Gross. It does have good flavor though. It's just the uh, uh. <laughs> ah, touche. I basically have to wait for 15 minutes because no it's a 15 minute mark because no matter what I gotta wait for 10 minutes for the one and then I've got to wait 
five minute afterwards, so I've got 15 minutes total on this one. 12 minutes to go. So, like I said, this is like the second time I've done this one. It is a really good chocolate bar. I did it with Katie pretty much, actually. It was actually a really cool time. Great collaboration. Shout out Katie. Rock on girl. Um, they said, I, I don't know. I think a lot, that with spice challenges, chocolate seems to eat different than a lot of other things. Um, I think, and obviously I haven't released all my videos yet. Um, they're never in order and it is kind of, it is what it is. Um, my, <laughs> I'd say the Death Nut and the Tube of Terror, those were probably one of the worst ones. Um, I don't know along the line if my, uh, I did a sub actually, and I don't know if this is gonna, if I, if it would have already posted by the time you see this video or if it's gonna be posted after, so. Either which way, there is a sub video that has or either will come out. Um, I went to a place called the Sub Hub in Reynoldsville, uh, Pennsylvania. Oh my god. And they had a Hellfire Challenge. Now, it was like half a pound of buffalo chicken and it was like a one, about a one inch, uh, not one inch, <laughs> one foot sub roll cut in half. Um, and then... It had on their buffalo sauce. It had on 12 Carolina dried, dried and powdered Carolina Reapers, um, ghost peppers, a uh, bunch of other jalapenos having there with all that. Oh my god! And that challenge of all things, that is what literally almost did me in. Um, I'm not gonna lie. That the if you, if the videos come out, look for it. Um, Obviously, if it hasn't come out yet, I'm, I'll get it out eventually, but it was the absolute worst thing I've ever eaten in my whole life. I would never eat, I, I wouldn't do it again. I wouldn't, I don't even care. I mean, you would honestly, I probably would have to be paid a crap ton of money and I would have to have a paramedic there. Um, it was so bad to where I was zoning out, I I couldn't feel my face. My I actually lost use of my my, my hands for a small amount of time. Um, literally, they were like locking up, and I was like I was like I couldn't use my hands. I was like, oh my god, I was having trouble breathing. Um, that's not gonna happen again. So um, this, that challenge was actually only done by two people so far: um, Andrew Poole and myself. Um, and Andrew, he did it too. He was, he, 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 he was in pretty bad shape afterwards. I can tolerate heat. I really can. And I can down it pretty fast. So I, maybe it was the way I took it. Maybe it was the way that my body dealt with it, but that was probably the worst experience in any eating challenge I've ever had in my life. And I really, unless there was a paramedic there and or. I don't know. I I did the many years ago. I think it was 2016 or 17. I did a run with the Guinness records for try to see if I can get the record for the uh, Carolina Reapers. And I want to say I ate about 22 of them, but it wasn't enough. And I honestly, it was like halfway. Th I, I gave up. I quit. I, I have to see if I have, I have the video somewhere. I have to see if I can find it. But I knew that I wasn't going to get it because of the weight because he told me I would have to finish like like one and a half of the baskets and there was no way I was going to do it and I was like you know what I just quit because it was going to be that bad and that was not as bad as the sandwich so for me to put that in perspective I would rather do a Carolina Reaper eating contest than eat that sandwich so yeah that was just absolutely awful so never going to happen again but like I said these right here this is pretty good like I said the Moab Gold, the caramel actually really minimizes it, so I would not say it was hot. It's got the Reaper in the caramel filling with ground scorpion peppers, but it's not overwhelming to the point of where you're like, oh my god, I'm dying, holy cow. It's got a pleasant burn to it. It's gonna hit your front or the, it hit the front of my mouth and my tongue, but other than that, um, wasn't really that bad. Um, this one again, it's like right now it's in the back of my back of my throat. I can feel a little bit in the front of my tongue. It's a little warm right here, but other than that, it's not bad per se. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I do have coming up Hulk, or you know, maybe you've already seen it because I don't know which order these videos once again are gonna come out in. So I obviously I'm still gonna be doing this one right here, the chili cherry nightmare with the white chocolate. So that one should actually be a good one. I might actually double that up with something else too because, like chocolate, just I mean, there it's spicy, but it doesn't seem to affect me the way that the anything with the ground dusts are, and those just seem to kind of put me over the edge. I also have this one, crazy caramelin, that will have milk chocolate with bacon infused with ghost peppers, scorpion pepper, and peanut butter. I don't even think I'll have to actually look because this is Willie Pete's, and I don't even know if this. I mean, obviously it's. I asked when I ordered this from Old Agnes, I said it was a challenge bar. So I have to look, because I didn't see any rules for this one. So, um, honestly, I, it just actually looks really good, because it's got bacon in it. <laughs> and then, the one that I'm saving for you, Miss Katie Prettyman, we are going to be doing this one, the Nemesis. I'm going to see how I react to doing one of those, and maybe I'll be able to do a couple of bars. I guess the record's like over three. Um, it, you know... All of these bars have a little reading on the bottom. So if you can see right there, it says on the bottom, it says, uh, danger. So, can you see that right there? All right. So all of the chocolate bars, basically, so far, they have been danger. Every single one of them. Like, some of them have been pretty spicy, too. They're not really, meh, you know. But basically, this one, depths of hell. So if you can see that, you can write that there. Got that. Yeah, so I'm not four times hotter than the original Moab, and the Moab was pretty. It, it was, eh, it was hot. This is dark chocolate with peanut butter, toffee bits, and Carolina Reapers from the Hot Damn Show. All right, Roger, love it. I this one would probably be the only scary bar that I think I would have because honestly, the other ones just don't seem to be. They're spicy, but they're not over. Above, above, you know, above and beyond. So, other than that, like I said, I've been kind of just trying to keep in check here and there with the uh, spicy challenges and uh, kind of do whatever. Obviously, I'm 10 minutes in. I've got to wait till 15, but, you know, it is what it is. So, um, other than that, I, I don't know. I do like doing the spicy challenges. I, I like putting myself in to a different area of challenges because sometimes the speed and sometimes the bulk is kind of annoying. Not to say that, but it's just kind of like, eh. It's like, you know you can eat a five pound sandwich. I know I can eat a 10 pound sandwich. So can I eat this humongous pot of Carolina Reapers that are put into one bar? I don't know if I can. It's like, that's, that is forcing you to mentally actually push yourself through a chocolate bar that you really don't want to eat. Even though it's small, you're like, Oh my god, it's a chocolate bar. It's so small. And I'm just like, oh my god, I don't want to eat this. It's horrible. That's, like I said, that, <laughs> stuff like that, especially with that sandwich. Ugh, that's what that sandwich was. That sandwich was, I did not want to finish. I, I could not have eaten two. So, like I said, I will um, eventually put that video out if it hasn't popped up by the time you see this video. But if you search for the, uh, the sub hub under my videos. I'm hoping it's gonna be there by then, but if it isn't, it'll be eventually be along the line under one of my spicy challenges. So, um, I don't know. It, uh, <laughs> just kind of a new direction. Um, other than that, really, like I said, summer's gonna be good here. Like I said, uh, this video is being filmed on June 18th of 2021. So obviously in relation to when it posts, that obviously you can see where the light, where the hell, kind of like the world's gone, but uh, summer's gonna be a lot of traveling. I plan to hit Michigan. Um, I've got a couple of things coming up. I haven't really decided on which direction I want to take with everything else, but there will be quite a bit of travel this summer. And I don't know, we'll see where this takes us. A lot of, a lot of different endeavors to deal with and uh, whatnot. Also, if you would like to sponsor challenges or see me eat something or other that you think is just, oh my God, holy cow, let me know. We can figure it out. Um, I do, if you want to help me cover the cost of a large challenge, like, you know, I had someone uh, help me out here a while back and I did the Whopper World Record, 31. It was awful. 
but <laughs> you know what? The sponsorship was worth it, so I put myself through it and made a challenge out of it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much game for anything as long as you run it by me and I approve, so we can go that way. But yeah, sponsorships are always welcome if you would like to go that route. Um, you know, it's it always does help. Like I said, there are a lot of ideas. It's like after doing food things for, oh my gosh, I'll be going on nine years this year because I started in August of 2012. So this will be nine years in August. So after nine years, it does get a little difficult to actually think up challenges to do and what direction to do. Like, oh, maybe I should, oh, I already did that. Oh, you should eat Cool Whip. Oh, I already did that in the can and I did it in the tub. Oh, you should eat, no, I already did a gallon of pickles. You should, no, I ate a gallon of olives. No, you, no, it's, you get eventually run out of ideas. And, you know, sometimes I have to honestly walk in a, walk in a grocery store to be like, well, hmm, well, hmm, you know, so. Any great ideas that you'd like to sponsor, I'm more than welcome to help with that, so. We're nearing the end of our 15 minutes, and I don't have a whole heck of a lot more to say, so I'll be cutting off right after that. But, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Share the videos. Anything that you guys do for me, honestly, I know that you're doing it for me, and I appreciate it. You keep the channel going, and I, I feel the love, man. It's awesome. So, like I said, sponsors, watches, views, shares, rock on, guys. Molly Skyler, Skyler Nation, Mom and Woman versus Food. Ooh, clean your plate, guys. Wasting food is rude. I will catch y'all next time with some kind of a challenge. Not quite sure, but we'll figure it out. 15 minutes, guys. Catch y'all next time.